Hey, what is going on YouTube? Aura Games here. Welcome to a Black Ops 3 tips and tricks video. Now, in this gameplay, I did hit like a 46 or 47 game, so that was pretty cool. But today, we're going to be going over some tips and tricks. I am a PC player, in case you did not know that. So, most of these tips will not benefit you on console because... I'm not pointing at the obvious, like, look at your surroundings, you know, I'm pointing out the actual tips that I found got me to be better at the game. I used to go, like, 3 and, like, 20, and now I'm dropping, like, almost 50 bombs. And I, of course, I'm, like, Prestige 10 now, and, you know, way back in the day I sucked, but these are trips to, these are tips and tricks to help you get better. So if you guys do find this is helpful, make sure you guys smash that like button, you comment down below, and please subscribe if you are new to the channel, it will mean a lot, it will help me out, show that you guys are showing your support, and yeah! So, tip number one is learn map layouts. Now, this is not the most essential skill that you need to have, but it's really good because with this, it kind of falls down into, you know, how you play the game and stuff. So you want to learn map layouts because you want to know where the most people are going to come from or who's going to flank, where they're going to flank from. This will just come with time, you know, you'll feel comfortable from where you're walking from and stuff like that. You know, sometimes you'll go behind the map, you know, you'll know where, like, a camping spot is. You'll know all that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys learn your map layouts. Go into a, uh, like, a single world, single lobby by yourself. Go ahead, just like run around, aim down the site a little bit, and some like doors and stuff. Learn the map layout. Maybe throw on some bots or something. Learn the map layout. Tip and trick number two is learning your play style. Now, this is a very important role on how you play the game because sometimes, you know, people will stay back with an SMG like a sniper, but sometimes snipers will go right into the headlines and just start firing and killing everybody. So, learn your play style. My play style has changed from like staying back to kind of rushing in with almost all my weapons, which of course doesn't work all the time. But if you like to use snipers like I do, and let's say you're starting to rush, you if you learn how, where people are coming from with the map layouts and you're comfortable with your aim, you'll be able to rush in there with pretty much any gun and just feel very comfortable doing it and be, you know, pretty good at the game. So that's a very important thing to do is just learn how you play, pretty much. Learn how you play the game. And yeah, we'll see how you go from there. Number three is kind of important, but not so much, and that's your settings. Now, for console people, this is not that important because you don't have to deal with, you know, like a lot of frame drop or stuff. But if your frames are dropping, that's not a good thing. But another big thing is your sensitivity. Change this up as often as you need to. If you're not doing good, change it. Don't be scared to change it. I used to have my sensitivity set to like a... 0.70 and now it's at like a 1.90 and I might even just turn it back down a little bit because with my mouse it's a Steel Series rival mouse and it's not the best mouse but the mouse pad that is on is very like tractiony it's kind of slow so my sensitivity has to be very high my DPI on my mouse I think is like the max it can be which is like I think like 2000 something so you know it's the mouse pad itself is not very speedy per se you know it's very tractiony kind of see you know it, it makes it slower so you gotta raise your sensitivity up i guess it works on accuracy a little bit but i might lower my sensitivity down just a little bit more i find a higher sensitivity really helps when you're using a sniper because if you have low sensitivity and someone's like a right above you, you're not gonna be able to flick on them as quick so if you guys have different sensitivities for different guns make sure you guys change that up it's don't be scared to change up your sensitivity like i was it's not too big of a deal Tip and trick and number four would be think slash plan. Now, most of the time when I'm playing, I'm just rushing in there. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't have much of a plan. But when it comes to game modes that are not like TDM, like free for all, domination, stuff like that, have a plan made up in your head within the like one minute before the game starts and just plan out, you know, where you're going to go, what you're going to do. If you need to tell a teammate to go somewhere, don't be scared to do that. You know, if you know where someone is, make sure you tell the teammate or something if they're close by so they don't die. Things like that. Don't be scared to, you know, help out your team. But if you're like a lone wolf like I am, well, you know, you don't really need to tell much. But, you know, it'd be a good idea to kind of pick out where people are and tell your teammates to help them out a little bit. And number five, we have practice. Practice, practice, practice. Always practice. 
It comes with time. I can't stress this enough. You're not going to be good at a game day day one with like an hour played. Well, I mean, you might be, but most people won't be. You could be the best PC gamer in the world. You're not going to understand a game completely right off the bat. It just doesn't happen. So naturally, you're going to get better as you play because you'll be changing up your sensitivities. You'll learn map layouts. You'll learn how you play. You'll learn all the guns. You're just going to learn everything. So practice. Just because you're like Prestige 1 and you're not doing so good doesn't mean you won't be able to be like Prestige 5 and doing better. Well, I, I sucked at the game until I was like Prestige 3. I had like a 0 0.40 to like 0 0.70 KD for the longest time. And right now I think I'm at like a 0 0.95. So I worked that up. And I'm also working on my Prestige 2. I'm already Prestige 10. So practice makes perfect. And that saying is very true. So let's just recap. Learn your map layouts. Very important. Play style, not so important. It'll just kind of come with time. Fix your settings. Fix your sensitivity. Sensitivity is a big thing when it comes to PC games. You got to change it up. Like almost every game is not going to have the same sensitivity unless you have like a god mouse or something. Think slash plan. Kind of important, kind of not. It really depends on the game mode. Unless you're a kind of person who wants to strategize the entire game, then go right ahead. I mean, if you're going to competitive, maybe you would want to do that a little bit more. And then practice makes perfect. Never forget that. Just because you suck at a game doesn't mean you won't get better, all right? Practice makes perfect. Sometimes when I'm playing a game, I'll get myself down because I'm not doing so good. And then a couple rounds later, you know, I'm kind of beasting it. So practice makes perfect. Perfect. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash that like button, you comment down below, subscribe for new. If you guys found any of these tips helpful, make sure you guys comment down below what you found helpful. And I can't stress this enough, please make sure you guys are subscribing. It just means a lot, make sure you guys are liking the videos. It just means a lot when you show your support, it helps grow the channel, helps keep me motivated. And yeah, that's it, so I'll see you guys in my next video, and see you guys.